So let's try it. What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a deck profile breakdown of the famous meta Broly. Okay, so today we're, we are going to be going through and doing one for each of the decks. All, what is this? Three, three, six, nine, all 12 leaders that are currently in set one. We're just going to be going through the decks, guys. So make sure to stick around on the channel. Subscribe for all these videos that are coming out. We're also going to take a break down a lot of the brand new cards that are coming out in set two, Blazing Aura. So let's go over Broly. This is the very first deck that I... Uh, I played once I finished the um, the uh, tutorial. You get enough coins to you know purchase your first deck, and I decided to do Broly because this was the most aggro deck out of the starters. Now the meta, especially in the early game of uh, Fusion World here, was definitely Broly. But now a lot of things are shifting over to Starter Coup, but. In the meantime, Broly is still super viable and definitely a meta and a problem to be had. Okay, so I'm going to break down my deck list and then we're going to go play a game. And uh, I kind of just settled on this version of Broly because I wanted to test a few things and just try some stuff out. So um, let's go kind of just break stuff down. So when we go over here to edit, right? So we have Broly here. Broly is an absolute menace. Normal 15k power, okay? And then once we get his awakened side, he's a real problem because he's 25k base and it's hard for people to swing into him. However, the big drawback with Brawly is is that once you get to 4 and you flip, you actually place in um you actually end up you know going down to 3, which is pretty insane for Brawly, which is kind of the to make up for the 25k base power. So, we really got to protect Brawly's life points once he's um you know kind of like once we flip and awaken. So, um just kind of help filter out the decks because this whole deck profile is ramping we want to ramp and stall out our opponent as long as possible until we can get to the late mid game to end game okay that's really what we're going for so in order to kind of filter through our deck and get cards that we need we got goku here we're just playing him to draw a card pretty self-explanatory we have uh, one drop gohan to look and grab either a saiyan card that we need um in his trace this also includes some of our extra cards more importantly our gigantic meteor which or not gigantic meteor excuse me um destructive strength which is like the mvp of the deck we'll talk about that in a sec um we are doing two of the android 18 this is just really just to help us filter if you get this late and you can play it it's kind of nice when you have six energy just to kind of recoup your hand because protecting uh broly especially when we flip is gonna be you know very important until we can kind of stabilize the board and then once we can stabilize the board, we're going to, you know, a card like Android 18, it's kind of nice just to kind of help us ramp up our cards. So I only rock two of those. I am playing a full playset of Trunks Future at the two slot. Um, this is a 10,000 combo power, which is really nice. But the 25K base is just super good. Now, he does have a, a thing where we can't attack the leader, but that's okay. So the main reason that we're rocking four of these Trunks is to deal with red and to deal with orange in particular. Because orange drops, you know four 20k cards and it's just a nightmare for us especially with broly so trunks is really really good for this and the 10k combo power um we got one of the mvps in the deck of course we're running we're rocking four vegetas this is just to help us ramp and then not only that we can discard a card to get rid of pesky two drops um we're rocking sun goku okay sun goku the five drop I really wish we could get some alternate arts because the alternate art of this is insane. But this is the MVP. This is what we want to ramp to as fast as humanly possible. Because once this is on the field, we ramp to five. Then we go to six. And then on our next turn, we're at seven. And then anytime we activate Broly's ability, we're going to be able to just to replace the energy. So anytime that we're doing stuff like putting, you know, something from our energy to our drop, this replaces it. It's an absolute beast in the deck. We rock four of them. Um, we are going to be rocking three of the Sun Gohan Childhood. Um, this is just really nice. It's a 30k power base, so we can ramp up to this. It's really, really nice. 10k combo power. We want as many 10ks as we can get. Um, but more importantly, this is just kind of a flex, a spot, like a utility almost. We mainly just combo out with uh, this Gohan, but um, if we do happen to play it, we can get rid of a four drop, which is actually kind of nice. Um, I am rocking two of Android 16, all right? We're rocking two of the Android 16. I am testing with this, but I've found it to be actually kind of 
low key nice, right? So it is a lot to play a six drop at 15k power, but it is a 10k combo power, but he is a blocker. And more importantly, when he is KO'd, which is very easily to happen, we get to play a six drop uh, Gohan from our drop for free. So the Gohan that we're going to be playing from the drop for free is another Sun Gohan Childhood, 35k base. Only 5k combo power, but more importantly, on play, we add the top card of our deck to our life. This is huge, so it's basically think about it as like a delayed draw. Because when Broly flips and we go to three, if we play Gohan, we go back to four life. And then once we take damage, we're going to draw that card anyway. And now we have a 35k body on the board just ready to wreck havoc. So this is just so good. I run a play set of this. I know a lot of other people just rock like three, maybe two. But I think this is so good. And this is also a card that you're really going to want to like, you know, like discard first or, you know, combo out just to get it into your drop for when we do draw the Android 16. Uh, I'm rocking two of the Android 17 and 18s. <sighs> Man, you know, six drop is still weird even with the Android 16 because... If we're on the draw, if we're if we go second, six is just a just a like a bad spot because we can ramp to three, we go to four, play Vegeta, go to five, we play Son Goku, go to six, and then on our next turn we're at seven, basically eight. So we're playing our seven and eight drop Broly. So this is kind of in a bad spot. However, I will say rocking two of them is kind of nice. You basically pitch this away, maybe keep one of them because against like orange or, or or excuse me yellow or red in particular this is really nice to just get rid of their three drops because outside of their three drops the only thing you really have to worry about is like a frieza so which we can deal with pretty easily with our other stuff because we're just bigger right um so i rock two of these although you could probably drop them i don't know but so far like i always draw one and it comes in clutch so it's kind of hard to take it out we are rocking one of the secret rare gohan a lot of people keep telling me that like if you can rock one you can rock two but I don't know, two is a lot on top of the four Brolies just to be able to, you know, have no combat power. But I will tell you that this card has saved me many, many times. And you just discard a card from your hand. You kill everything on the board. Because unless you're facing an opposing Broly, nothing is going to be higher than five. There is a few cards that are six drops. But really, you just wipe the board, reset, and then in green, you're just higher, right? It's just so good. We are rocking four of the Brolies, right? No brainer here. Um, I am doing three gigantic meteors here. This card is absolutely a beast. Uh, when you have six or more energy, 25k boost is nuts. We can always end up having one energy up to do this. This is a great way to close out the game. Um, I'm, of course, I'm rocking four of destructive strength. This is the main card. You need to get this as fast as possible. So that way we can ramp. It's, a, it's the main reason why we're rocking Goku and Son Gohan as a searcher, Android 18 as a drawer. Right, and we can just filter through our deck as fast as possible. Um, and then I'm rocking one of the Big Bang. Okay, I'm rocking one Big Bang because as long as we have six or more energy, it becomes a one drop instead of a two. And then we place energy in our drop and we choose an opponent's battle cards will cost five or less and KO it. This is super, super good against, you know, blue, orange, any of the five drops, like five drop Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, that all have double strike. Super, super good. We just get rid of it for one energy. And then we're just on the offensive. So it's super, super strong, guys. So this is my kind of deck list, and I've kind of settled on it. I really like it. Um, so the idea here is we're going to go into a match. We're going to play some ranked match real quick. And we're going to uh, – I'm going to kind of just break down how to how to pilot this deck. Hopefully we win. I'm not a big fan of Broly at all. I liked it when I was first starting to play it, but once I – started to find out the meta and um get to play with a lot more decks as i gain more cards um broly is definitely not the deck that i like um starter coup starter coup or red goku is probably at the top of the list of the meta especially going into the next set i really love trunks control blue trunks control um and then orange frieza and orange uh cooler are absolutely fantastic so let's get in this and try to pilot this see what we can do here so Hopefully we go second. We're playing Red Goku, Starter Coup. So this is going to be a little bit of a fight here. Hopefully we're second. We're first, which is not great. But we do have the Destructive Strength. We have no ramp. I'm going to uh, change this hand. We really need... Okay, so we got some Searchers. We got a 4-drop. Okay, so this isn't bad. We really wanted to be first, but that's okay. So let's... Um... 
I think we'll just we'll pitch this away for now. We don't get to attack, which is kind of weird. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna search. We really want destructive strength here. Yeah, baby, that's why we search. All right, we're looking good. This is a good start. Good start. This is a good start. We really want to go second. So here's the thing about playing Broly in green, because green is just ramping. So here's like when you go second. Um, when you yeah, when you go second, basically what you do is with the marker, if you have destructive strength on turn two, when you go to three, you just play destructive strength. You go two, three with one undone. You play like a Goku. And then on turn four, you play Vegeta and you go to five. And then you play Son Goku and you go to seven. So it's kind of nuts. Um, no, no, I did not mean to put that there. Oh my God, I'm terrible at this game. I did not mean to put that there. Golly G Willikers, Batman. That is a huge misplay. Don't judge me in the video. I was just trying to move it. I was just trying to move it. Um, uh, Goku here is not bad, but you know what? I kind of want to... I'm just going to play... I'm going to play her. Um, We can discard a... We'll discard a Goku. Actually, no. We can probably discard Gohan. God, man. That was just so bad. We'll attack... I'm okay. I just wanted to move it like that and it put it in the rest area. That's a super combo. We want that. <laughs> That's so bad. That's okay though. I did not I just wanted to move these over. So next turn, when you're playing Broly, disregard the misplay. But no matter what, on turn three, you have to play destructive strength. Like, we don't care about this Whis that's going to kill our Gohan. Like, we don't care about it, right? We just want to... See, at this point, we kind of want to leave their leader at 6 or even 5. Um, but the Roshi is going to... Oh, it's the other Roshi. So, at this point, it's... Um, I don't know if I really want to keep the... If I really want to keep her. So, this can just take her to 10k. And then I'm just dealing with this each turn. Um... Next turn, we're playing Destructive Revelry, so we're not doing anything anyway. I'm just going to... I'm going to keep her alive. We basically want to stall as much as we can to get to the end game. So we're probably going to play, like, Destructive Revelry, Destructive Revelry. Look at this. Oh, and we rip into that. That's really nice. Um, I don't know if we're going to need this. I might throw this away. So if we go to three... We go to three, which takes us to four. We go to four. Or no, I can I can charge one of these. I can charge one of those. That's fine. Um, we definitely want to attack here, but because we want we want the card draw, right? So another Android sixteen, no boost. You never found any decks. That's okay, man. That's all right. So he boosted, which is fine. That works for me. We have to play destructive. We're always going to play this first. See, now we got the extra one. So if I had a one drop, I could play it. But we're just going to leave that up for Gigantic Meteor. Um, I'm not going to attack here. We're just going to chill. We want to just hold off as much as we can. Like this, they can neg this to 10. If they played hit, we'd be probably be scared. But they put a hit away, actually. Or no, time skip. So like next turn, we go to five and we play this. Yeah, we just play this. Which is huge. Um, so we we don't like the critical, but when it comes to critical, we have to think about like what we're going to give up um, to get rid of it. I almost don't mind losing just the one because I'm already behind on cards, so I don't really... Like, we're okay. Like, okay, so it was just a gigantic meteor. That's not the worst thing in the world. So he's just filtering, going through stuff. Uh, we can definitely take the hit here. This is fine. You never found any decks? No worries, man. 
All right, so it's my turn and we have a Broly. I think we're going to hold on to the Broly. I think what we will do is charge this. Um, although he is a 10k, we could charge her. We don't necessarily need her anymore. Um, yeah, let's charge her. And then we will we will attack into this. So this idea is that we want to kind of get rid of their stuff. So I'm gonna combo the I'm gonna combo the Gohan. We want to stall, right? Because like this crit guy is annoying. If he wants to spend like sacrifice a Roshi and spend another card, then that's fine. We get rid of two cards. Like that's okay. Like I'm okay with that. Otherwise, we get rid of this. Yeah. So if he wants to waste cards protecting this, this like that's fine, right? So let's, um, we could lose this. I don't know if we do want to lose this or not, but let's play. Now we could play this as well, right? And we could get rid of this or we could go in and get rid of the one of the Weeses. Um, but I think this is just better. This is just going to be better. Ooh, we lost a Gohan. So if we can replace the Gohan out of our rest area. And then play the androids. Like that's super good. Um, I do have six. So I do draw a card. So I will swing in here. We got a future trunks. This is super good. Uh, again, if they want to combo a 10 piece, then I'm okay with that. Yep. Now, she did serve her purpose here, so we probably are going to lose our 18 next turn. Because what he'll do is he'll neg this. He'll neg this to 10k and then just swing in with, like, his leader or something, or even the Vegeta. I'm guessing the Vegeta is actually going to swing at my... my uh... Oh, he's going to play 3-drop Goku and get rid of this. That's a bummer. Yeah, he'll play 3-drop Goku or something and kill my guy. So here's the thing. Do we want to protect against the critical? Like he has five. What could he play? He could he could play uh, Goku and go a double. I think we protect here. I'm going to be honest. I think we protect here. As much as I want to like awaken, we need our cards. So I think I'm going to protect. I think I'm going to protect here. Although the idea of flipping is nice, but the critical is like something I don't want to deal with. Really? This is so interesting. He must not have drawn anything. If he has three drop Goku, this just dies. I think he's going to... Interesting. Uh, that one I will take. Okay, another Trunks. That's nice. Oh my god, what did he just play? What did he just play? Choose any number of your opponent's battle that add up to 35 and KO them. Yikes. Okay. That's a big yikes, man. Alright, so we're going to charge this. Now, something here that we have to keep in mind. He's got a lot of stuff just chilling on the board. He's got a full grip. So here's something that you have to do with Brawly, even if we lose this hand. So even though we can flip, you always attack first to get the draw. So we're going to attack. We're going to attack into his guy. And then we're going to flip. Because then we get to draw two cards. And then we get to draw two cards. So here, I'm not worried. Like, if he wants to spend more than a 10k, then that's fine. Yep. So next turn, we're going to be able to play Broly's. Um, what's in here? Okay. So what I can do is I can play Vegeta and Trunks. That gives puts me to six and I got one extra. Okay, so I'll play Vegeta. We'll play Vegeta. 
I get to add one to my drop. So we go to nine, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to play Trunks. What do we discard? Do we just discard this? No, because I want to keep that. I guess we just... I don't, I'm definitely not discarding Broly. We could discard another Vegeta. Let's discard the Vegeta. Let's get rid of a Whis. We play Trunks. And then I think what we do is I think we just chill on defense. Yeah, I think we just I think we just chill on defense. We just need to stabilize here. Now he's he's going to six energy. So normal like starter coup decks don't run Beerus. But I wonder if he has a Beerus. If he has a Beerus, that's really bad for us because we're gonna lose our board. But I think next turn we just drop Broly. He he does he has he has done a second time skip. Okay, yeah. All right, so we lose we lose the trunks. Yeah, we lose the trunks. Okay. That's not bad. Now, at this point we're probably we basically want to we want we want to we want to like survive, right? Like we want to just stay alive. Um He could play another 3 drop and kill and kill our Vegeta here. Vegeta's kind of nice because we just kill his board, but do we sacrifice Vegeta here? We need to delay, right? So yeah, let's combo Vegeta away. Because next turn we we play Broly. Like next turn we're gonna play Broly, and then we're just gonna like go to work. So we just need to survive as much as we can. He might have a two drop or something. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna flip. That's all right. Yeah. Boost it. So he'll go to twenty five. So we have to we have to just delay. We have to stall, right? I hate using a gigantic meteor defensively, but. We can't afford to, to go to two and him ha play like a five drop Goku. We just can't afford that. These little minions aren't really doing much. So he's comboing. So do I combo this away? Yes. Yep, we combo it away. Now he has a bunch of cards in his hand, which is just super scary. Um, we don't care about that. So if we go, this doesn't do anything. So I guess we could charge it just so we have more. It doesn't do anything for us. So we're going to play Broly. We're going to destroy this. And this is kind of where we stabilize as best we can. So, we're going to use Broly to swing here. Nope. Uh, we definitely will swing, for sure. Nope. I'm trying to think what else is in Red Goku that... if he, Like, again, we just want him to waste resources, right? He has eight cards, and we have two. So, the thing is, is like, I could activate this. I should have activated. I keep forgetting about his power. Because I, I, I keep forgetting, man. I'm just going to activate the skill. This is another misplay by me. This shows you how much, like, I don't play Broly. Um, okay, that's not bad. Um... Do we swing again with Broly? We take him to three. We play Broly and attack four times. Okay, so next turn is going to be huge for us. So 
So what? Yeah, we'll we'll play the Gohan. We'll lose it to Whis next turn, but man, we don't get anything. Oh, that sucks. Um, that sucks. But we lose the Gohan. I was hoping to rip like something that I could, I could be I could use, but so he's at six, and he wasted a Goku. What does he have? What could he? Well, well, shoot! I'm just gonna combo this out. That way, I stay alive. Oh my god! I'm so happy he didn't activate Whis. <laughs> I'm so happy he did not activate Whis. What could he have at six? What could he possibly have at six? Let's see. Okay. So actually, if he plays this with the 35k. So I'm at 25. So this, we just combo. Yeah, we just combo. Yeah, at this point, like even taking a hit, like if we were a, if we were gonna take a hit, we definitely want the card, right? Like we don't want the critical. Okay. This one we will probably lose. He goes to 20, and then he's gonna put Whis into it. Ooh, okay. This one I can't do anything for, so it's kind of a bummer. Oh, we lost another super combo. It's so bad. God, that sucks. Um, we go eight, and then we can get rid of and draw. Um, no, we don't want to phase. So what's my skill again? Place one energy in the drop, and then draw a card and get 5,000 power. So... Let's just play Broly. He's going to hate that. That's gone. Um, let's activate my skill. Actually, hold on. Yeah. We're like we're like going for the kill here. We should be able to do it. We're going to play Goku cuz we want to draw a card. Come on, instant command. Oh my god, another Broly. Good lord. So let's see here. He's at three. We're going to attack four times, five times. I don't think he has the cards. So we're just going to swing out. I don't think he has the cards. So this is a super plus one. Um, Yeah, it's just a super plus one. I mean, he might be able to. Who knows? He might be able to. He has what? Seven cards? He'll go to eight. He's going to have to start pumping stuff in, man. This one I'm going to combo to 50. So that's a super plus a 10k plus a next, another card. Or it's three, it's four 10ks. So it's a super and two 10ks or four 10ks to survive this hit. So he's at 50. Oh, he didn't do the math right. Let's go. Big dub. Let's go. All right. All right, man. That's Broly, dude. He's a big problem. And I even misplayed twice, guys. That's how much I don't play Broly. Bulk Receda. Give me them gems. All right, guys. That is Broly. That is the deck. I, I wish I could have got a chance to do the Android combo, but you can see the deck is, is very, very good. It, it, it stalls very, very nicely in just being able to get rid of things. You just want to preserve as much life as possible before um, swapping. I don't even think... <laughs> Nova goes bad math for the win. I don't even think if he added another one, right? Because if he adds another one, I still have one more attack with that Broly. And I would have attacked it with my leader the next time just to draw like additional cards out. And then on the last attack, I just combo everything into that 45k Broly and then I just win. So 
But this is the deck, guys. Like the video. Get, definitely get this video to 25 likes or more. That is our goal. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Fusion World content. We got a lot of stuff coming out since I'm waiting for Diablo 4 uh, Season 4 to release. So make sure to like the video, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.